Scale Masters here, and we have this old Model 52 AB Dick paper folding machine. Now I know this ain't going to be a popular video, but if I can help one or two people out, well then I'll feel better at the end of this. Um, there's not a lot of information about these machines at all. Uh, surprise, surprise. And lo and behold, this has got to be one of the only old manuals that I've ever seen that doesn't tell you how to fully take the machine all the way apart. Uh, they tell you how to um, you calibrate the machine, but they don't really tell you uh, how to solve an issue if there is a major problem eternally. But good thing that there's not really a lot of complexities in here. It is very complex. These guys engineered stuff way differently back in the day. But if your machine is not working correctly, if the roller is not working, if there's something not turning, then well, well, I'll show you how this thing functions right now. Well, our problem was the paper feeder wasn't uh, turning, so I knew there had to be a belt somewhere. Also, we had a flat spot on the bottom of our roller that's underneath there, which all you got to do is turn it to find another good spot and then keep it there. What we did was ordered two new belts that go onto the side of this thing. Um, and you can see that I've ordered some belts from Printer Parts Store. I think you might be able to go find these and just size them up if you wanted to. The most important thing about the, uh, the, the uh, feeder, the paper feeder belt, is that it's square. And it rides on the, the triangle uh, or the, uh, the, the corner part of it. And it runs off of this right here. So there's another belt underneath there. Uh, for that and that's pretty much it on this side let's go take it over to the other side real quick so you can take a look at it there's another belt over here it's the big speed belt you, uh, you, you pull this out and it tightens it up and pulls on different parts of it uh, uh, on the V belt and the feeding mechanism uh, for the paper guys down here are down on this guy here you hear it click that's the clicking noise when it's on so yeah that's pretty much it on this guy that's how you take it apart that's the internals of it it's very easy to set the calibration if you don't have the manual uh, you stick a piece of paper right in up here and you just hold it down right there while the machine is on and you tighten this down until it grabs a piece of paper boom your machine is set you got new belts on the machine is set it's running I think it's well worth fixing these machines. A $20 belt compared to a new $1,200 machine. And well, those new machines aren't going to work as good as this one. So um, I don't mind fanning them out a little bit. Uh, leafing them is what they call it. That's the only new feature of the new ones that I would say that would be worth it. Other than that, you change the belt and this thing's going to outlive all of us. It'll outlive the machine that we would have bought if we wanted to replace it too. That's what I'm thinking. So... Sky Masters here, hit that like and subscribe if this video helped you out at all. I'm sure there's not too many of you guys out there that are going to watch this, but if there's one or two of you out there and it helped, leave a comment, man. Let's talk about this thing. I love mechanics.